observe, observe variable. And we also have what we call on observed variable. What is observed variable and unobserved variable? Observed variables are your questions in your questionnaire. Your question in your questionnaire. For instance, these are observed variables. Remember, we say 24 items in psychological capital scale or questionnaire. This is what? Observed variable. This is an 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 observed variable. Why are we calling them observed variable? Because when you go out to meet your respondent, when you are dishing out your questionnaires, they will respond to this question. You are observing these questions. But remember, you are not observing this one. You are not ask, telling them anything about psychological capital. You are just asking them these questions from 1 to 24. That's what you are asking them. But you never tell them or you are not, you are not asking them uh, to describe psychological capital. But what you are trying to measure is psychological capital. So this one you are measuring, which you are observing are the observed variable. Why this is the unobserved variable? Okay, look at this um, this this diagram this diagram you can see all these are all these are constructs all these are constructs this construct you cannot just ask people and any respondent to tell you about its psychological capital so it's latent it's a latent variable it's not observed in your questionnaire they are all observed. But remember, from this, from this psychological capital, you came up with what? This, this questionnaires, for instance. You came up with this questionnaire. But these questionnaires are try to what? Measure the psychological capital. The psychological capital. We are now saying what? The observed variables, they are measuring what? The unobserved variable indirectly indirectly so the observed variables as you can see the observed variables are the ones those questions in your questionnaires just in a simple terms i don't want to confuse you but the unobserved variable are what you are trying to measure we also call them the latent variable the latent variables the latent variable so whenever you see observed variable they are talking about questionnaires questions on other, on other variables or latent variable, they are simply telling you about what you are trying to measure, what you are trying to use the questionnaires or the questions in your questionnaire to measure. So you are measuring them indirectly. So in 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 CFA, that is a confirmatory factor analysis, we use the Rantago to represent the observed variables which are the questionnaires the question your questionnaire i mean why this cycle or you call it uh, the over or whatever is used to measure what the latent or the on remember it's the same on on observed variable the observed variables Let's assume you have four questions in your questionnaire trying to measure one thing. This is question A, question B, question C. Try to measure maybe your growth rate. Okay. Now, this is the latent variable or the unobserved variable. These are the what observed variables. Don't observe variables. All these are the observed variables. 
Remember that the observable, which are your questionnaire, they are indirectly measuring what? The unobserved variable or the latent variable. Indirectly. You are trying to measure this one, but you can't you can't measure it without the observed variable. Why we, are we calling them observed variable? Because you are observing them from the respondent. These are the que what they will respond to. These are the two they so you are observing them before the people that are involved. When they are answering these questions, they are indirectly answering this question, which is what? The latent, the underground what variable. Because this question came from here, all these questions, A, B, C, they all came from here. Now, remember they came from here, right? So if you want to draw the arrow now, you draw the arrow like this. Meaning what? They all came from here. So it means that what? The growth rate gave birth to A, B, C. It gave birth, that is the meaning of this arrow. It gives, they all gave birth to A, B, C. This is your latent variable. This is your observed variable, for instance, A, B, C, D. They are all coming from here. These are the regression arrows, meaning they are coming from here. They are coming from here. In, in Amos SPSS, you represent them like, them like this. Remember, these are questionnaire. You are using to measure this guy, the growth rate. These are questions. These are questions. This one, they are questions. You are using to measure this guy. Uh, but how are we sure that A can actually measure growth rate? How are we sure that B can actually measure growth rate? How are we sure that C can actually measure growth rate? How are we sure that D can actually measure growth rate? There's room for error. It might, it might not be able. The er error might be low, the error might be high. This is why confirmatory factor analysis is different from exploratory. Exploratory gives no room for error, but in confirmatory, it gives room for error. So there's probability that this guy will not be able to measure this guy. So let's give that error. So we, we put this error here, this error. So these are represented by error. So the error, the, po the possible error, the differential, assume that the answer here is supposed to be 20. This guy is giving you 18. So 2 is the error. You must give room for error. Assume the answer is 10. The, the guy gave you 10. The, uh, the error is 0. Yes. So the next thing we ask yourself now, how are we going to draw the arrow between the error and the observed variables? How are we going to draw the arrow? Should the arrow go like this? Or the arrow should go like this? How do we draw the arrow? So let's answer that question with another slide. This is the unobserved variable. These are the observed variable. Observed variable. Observed variable, for instance. This is the error. This is the error. So we have arrow here, 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 we have arrow here. We say this is the unobserved. This is the observed A. B, C. Okay. These are the er error, error, and error. So how do we get the arrow, the direction of the arrow? U for unobserved variable, observed variable O, error E. Observed variable is equal to the unobserved variable plus the error. That is the meaning. This is the meaning. What am I saying? I can put it like this in another way. See, the unobserved variable is the what? Observed variable minus the error. So if the error is zero, it means the unobserved variable is equal to what? The observed variable. Mean that you measure it very well. There was no error. But if the error is very high, it will reduce what? The, the, the accuracy level. Now, how do we draw the arrow? So, if you want to have the unobserved variable from unobserved variable, say O is equal to U plus E, meaning what? Observed variable is equal to unobserved variable plus what? The error. What we are trying to say here is that what? The unobserved variable, the observed variable, I mean, is coming from where? Is coming from both 
the what? The unobserved variable are also coming from what? The error. Right? So observed variable is the is coming from two places. It's coming from the error and the unobserved variable. The observed variable. So how you draw such is that you are simply say what? This is the man. For instance, this is the woman. Sorry for putting error here. This is the man or this is the woman. They all give birth to what? The observed variable. Okay? Therefore, the arrow will be like this. We give birth to you. 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 So, if the error for instance is 2 and this one is 10 it means that it will be regressed towards the side also regressed towards the side